Antonio Brown is still in the news today because he will be playing on Sunday. Now, I watched first take this morning with Stephen A. Smith, and just like I, if, you know, if you didn't see the video, I talked about how Stephen A. Smith was cooning and lobbying uh, the NFL when he stated that he would be surprised if Antonio Brown is not on the commissioner's exemption list, which is basically paid to play on uh, Monday. Now, actually on Wednesday of this week, so now they're backtracking and saying, well, you have to see both sides and we haven't heard, you know, what 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 she's saying and all of that good stuff. But the NFL did not not some of her, but the NFL did request to meet with her this week prior to making a decision if Antonio Brown was going to play. But for some strange reason, she uh, postponed her meeting with the NFL to an undisclosed date because she's getting married this weekend. Hmm. She's getting married this weekend. So there's no doubt in my mind, you know, that her fiance that she probably was dating at the time of these accusations, you know, had an issue. And since no charges was pressed, since there were no police report or anything like that, he's basically probably gave her an ultimatum. Well, I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't there, but I'm going to say more than likely he gave her an ultimatum saying, if you want to get married on Saturday, you know, we're going to have to do something about this because if, if it, like Antonio Brown saying it's consensual, and if you did partake in consensual sex with this guy, that means you was cheating on me. So therefore, this Tuesday, paperwork was uh, a police report and all that for a civil suit, not a criminal suit, but a civil suit. But Antonio Brown is basically saying it, that it was consensual and he will be playing on Sunday. Now, let me tell you something. Antonio Brown plays for the Patriots. So we're talking about Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft two of the major power brokers in the NFL. Now, if he played for another team, he played for the Raiders, and this came out, you know, Gruden and, 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 and Mike Mayock, it, it would have been a wrap. He would have been on a commissioner list, they would have ran damage control, they would have used him as a pawn, and they would have just basically made him an example. But when you're dealing with Robert Kraft, when you're dealing with Bill Belichick, who's, who's the general manager of the team as well, then, you know, that's the right situation. So it might have been a play from the beginning. Now, let's remember, let's remember this, that uh, the owner, Robert Kraft, was uh, arrested for soliciting prostitution at a day spa. Let me tell you, an elitist billionaire owner, Robert Kraft, was arrested for soliciting prostitution at a day spa in Florida in February, but we haven't heard anything about it. Think about it. We haven't heard anything about it. All we hear is crickets. We haven't heard anything about that. It just went away. So now you got Antonio Brown in the mix and he's playing on Sunday. But Brown's accuser was, uh, Antonio Brown's accuser was his personal trainer, not a personal trainer, but one of his trainers, you know, to get him in condition, to condition him and to get his body right. You know, because to play the National Football League, you know, you have to, your body is your brand, so you have to work on that body. So therefore, since she was his trainer, and now she's accused, given these accusations, he took a dig at her uh, last night on Instagram uh, he went on Instagram Live while at Tom Brady's training facility. He took he he went on Instagram Live and did a video while he was on at Tom Brady's training facility, getting trained by Tom Brady's trainer. So yeah, that's a huge dig. That's like going from an HBCU, you know, what I'm saying to the Ohio State. It's too big, you know. It, it's come on now. You training me versus Tom Brady's trainer. So that's a big up for him as well. But like I said, there was no shadow of a doubt in my mind, you know, that, you know, her wedding plans had something to do with that, with her making that, that um, the accusation and actually reporting it. Now, for the record, both parties was in uh, negotiations uh, for a settlement a few months ago to keep it quiet, you know, pretty much hush money. So Antonio Brown decided, man, I was dating this woman, man. We was we was sexually involved. We was doing our thing. We was getting freaky deaky with it. So there's it's a hundred one hundred percent consensual from his personal perspective. So instead of uh, uh, giving her the hush money to keep it out out of the public arena, he decided to, you know what, say what you got to say. I'm 100 percent 
innocent and I'm going to get with Robert Kraft and Bill Belichick and we're going to do something about this because this actually happens to high profile men all the time. It happened to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was at a strip club and somebody videotaped him and tried to extort him for money. He went on record and said, I'm not paying anything. I'm going to just apologize to my wife because it happens all the time. You know, but we'll, you know, just keep uh, chiming in, man, the, the, the page is growing. I really appreciate my day ones, man. I really appreciate you. But uh, we, we basically over 16,000 views overall. So uh, we're really going to make this thing grow. So it's Freedom Friday, man. Happy Friday to you. It's your boy, Bouchon Glover. Signing out. Have a good weekend. Peace out. And if you like the tunes, that's Box on the Beats. Peace out. Have a good weekend.